Well, hello everybody. We're here in Clearwater, Florida at Lithionics Batteries. So uh, let's step inside. I think Steve is waiting for us. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Hey Robert, good to see you. I'm Stephen. Thank you. Let me shut the door and welcome to our factory. In fact, you're here on a great day. We just opened up another factory, so you'll be the first to film this brand new factory that we have. So this is our front lobby and we'll take you this way. So about 10 years ago, we were in contact with Road Trek and they had told us that the number one complaint that they had in their B vans was generator noise and generator maintenance. And they had the original idea a decade ago to have the E-Trek system. So Roadtrek was our first customer. And then, of course, we know what happened to Roadtrek. So five or six years ago, we took the same technology to um, Coachman. Now, Coachman calls us LiGen, but to everybody else, it's IonGen. And you'll see more of that as you go through the facility. And this is the battery system. And obviously this is powered by a second generator to recharge while you're driving. So there's no need for a generator. And oh gosh, we probably have over a thousand of these systems out there, maybe 2000 and uh, they've been operating perfectly. So come on this way and we'll show you more of the factory. So we have about seven engineers. We have three electrical engineers. We have four mechanical engineers. And then we have a certified training program. But here we start with our patents and our trademarks. Uh, so we are ISO 9000, we're UL listed, the world's first, and the only company to be certified by Underwriter Laboratory themselves. And if you come this way, we'll show you some of our training certificates. So if you say that you are assembling in the USA, then nobody can go to school to learn how to build a lithium ion battery. So we have a very extensive training program, and when we get you on the floor, you'll see how our trained technicians, they all have a Microsoft tablet. They pull it up, they get engineered work instructions, and it's the perfect way to maintain quality control. So we'll have you come through the engineering lab now. So what do you call one, two, three, four, five engineers in one spot? Expensive. <laughs> so these are most of our engineers here. Then if you come this way, we're gonna show you some of the battery technology. So this is a custom battery built for Newmar. Newmar came to us two years ago and they wanted a long, narrow battery that was only 13 inches wide, but this is 16 usable kilowatt hours. So there's two of these per Newmar. And they wanted to take up the least amount of space in the compartments. So they stacked two of these end to end running all the way across the coach. But if you open the compartment door, you see a tiny little spot. This took us a year to tool up and then another six months to get through Underwriter Laboratory. What does you all mean? You all does 37 tests and no matter what they do, nail penetration, shot, crush, drop, impact, short circuit, the battery will not explode, will not catch on fire, will not leak toxic vapors, and it will not leak combustible vapors. So UL brings a $5 million product liability insurance policy to anybody that owns a coach. So it's transferable. Uh, no, we've never had a claim. We've been in business now since June of 2010, and it's nice to be able to say that we've been doing this longer than anybody on the planet because I've been an RV owner since the year 2000. And some people go to Vegas and spend their money, but I spend it on RVs. So I'm very passionate about the RV side. Here we're gonna show you some development. This is a battery. Um, I'm gonna compare this battery in size. This is going through UL right now. This is a Winnebago Echo 12V320. Uh, this battery is six inches wide, 21 inches long, but it's 4,400 watt hours, which is the highest energy density battery uh, in the world today. Uh, this is actually what you have in Mini Tini 3, better known as the Micro Mini FLX. Okay, So uh, it's a hidden battery in your coach. 
your trailer, and so you have the Bluetooth app, which you're well aware of, and that's what communicates status and diagnostic codes to you and battery life. We believe we have the best warranty in the industry because you can track battery usage and thus battery life. So there's no way that we could deny a warranty claim because everything is measured on your Bluetooth app. Now, because people want more and more energy, this is another battery that we just tooled up and we're gonna start shipping this, but this is the same length. It's the same as two batteries wide. This is a 12 volt. 630 amp hour battery. So this is about 8,600 watt hours. So it's gonna cut installation time by 50%. We have some RV makers. Uh, Gretsch RV is a good example. They use four of these in a row as a um, installation uh, time savings. Now, instead of putting four of these, that's a lot of cabling. Now they're going to put uh, two of these in a row one thing that differentiates us from competition is they use old technology cylindrical cells and a battery at four kilowatt hours could have 100, 200 cells. But here we have just 12 cells and you notice that we have these compression end plates and everything is laser welded with automation. So this battery can be partially assembled in minutes versus say half an hour and very robust. So you can see we've got the exoskeletal frame for shock and vibration. And then the beauty of having a battery like this is that along the bottom, we can put a convection heater kit. It's the world's first UL listed heater kit, but it touches every cell directly as opposed to competition. They use like a radiant heat source and that's not, what we consider to be something that could get through Underwriter Laboratory. So this is a convection, and this battery is only consuming at 20 degrees Fahrenheit. We're only gonna consume about 20 watts per hour. So your solar could easily keep this battery heated all through the winter, so long as your solar panel is not covered with snow. Okay, so this is one of the first batteries that we put. Um, some people call this a drop-in replacement. Well, if it's a drop-in replacement, it has to do engine cranking back up for an RV. This is the world's first 12V-130, and this battery does not have a heater kit, but it does engine cranking, and this has been in the Winnebago Revel for years and years. But now we have a new series coming out. These are just early prototypes, but this is a 12V-100. Now, we have to give up 30 amp hours, but we gained a heater kit. This is the only battery that we make that doesn't have a heater kit. And as you know, that's the big weakness of lithium. Everything else is a big advantage, but under freezing, it can't be charged. And so we solved, couldn't solve it here because Winnebago wanted the highest energy density drop-in battery. That's the 12E130. And you had one of these at one time. Mm -hmm, yeah. And then you upgraded to this, which gives you air conditioning runtime. Have you tested that yet? Yes. Okay, we'll have to talk about that. So this is a 12E300. This has a heater kit. This is UL listed because it has a double BMS. But let's take a look. This particular technology is 300 amp hours. And this is our GTX high density series. Well, you pay a premium for it. Aluminum enclosure. The aluminum enclosure uses uh, the BMS is attached to become a heat sink. So whereas a small battery like this might only be able to discharge at 100 amps, this can do over 200 amps. But this is plastic, so we have to have a bigger BMS to dissipate the heat. And this does have a heater kit. So uh, let's go see the factory. So the purpose of the 3D printers, it came up as a necessity during COVID. So very simple plastic components went into short supply. And in some cases, the prices tripled but the lead time tripled, so we had no choice but to invest in making our own connectors and the protective covers that you just saw. So this is our 3D uh, printing area here. And then I'm gonna have you look at uh, this table. Is, it's our next generation of technology. And so uh, you know the RVC telemetry is very critical to connect all the components and then the battery, the air conditioning system, anything that operates on RVC. We created 
our own network cable. And the network cable has what's called edge connectors. So anything can tie into the RVC telemetry. And here's our own proprietary charger. Uh, this is a charger that we're looking into uh, interfacing with uh, auto automobile chargers on the road. Uh, that's a future project. And here we're showing a 51 volt battery management system. And this is a 51 volt battery. So that battery can be either uh, 8 kilowatts to 9 kilowatt hours. And if you move down this way, you see this is the same technology but this is a 24 volt. So we think 51 volt is the future in the RV industry for many technical reasons. And we actually have a video on our website called the Project 5112. And that explains the difference between 51 volt versus 12 volt. It's a great video to watch. But here you can see the modularity, same BMS, 51 volt, 24 volt, why 24 volt? Yachts. And then if we move this way, this is uh, pretty revolutionary. So the purpose of the combiner box is to allow an RV maker to put one battery management system into an RV and say one module. But one complaint that we've heard is that later down the road, if somebody wants to add more capacity, they have to go to a dealer and wait for the dealer to install. So the combiner box, you see this is a four port combiner box. So we're using two of the four ports. This is all plug and play. So if you have the battery and you've got one module, you can see, let's say this module is, you know, five kilowatt hours. You can add 10, 15, 20 kilowatt hours just by using the combiner box. So no tools are necessary or no tools are required. You have an external BMS and this can control up to six modules. So we've actually built for some undisclosed uh, van builders. Uh, we just shipped the world's biggest battery system. It was 51 volts and 80 kilowatt hours. So that's enough to stay <laughs> off grid for quite a while. This is one of our internal chargers that we use uh, for manufacturing and charging things as fast as possible. So uh, we needed a very high amperage 12 volt charger up to 400 amps to rapidly charge uh, batteries coming out of manufacturing. Uh, so we devised this whole assembly. Uh, it's a combination of uh, inverter chargers. Each one is uh, 3,000 watts, so we have 6,000 watts. And uh, designed the whole control panel, circuit breakers, etc. We can reconfigure and change the amperage on the fly, uh, depending on the model of battery that's being charged. So this is our labeling and compliance and final QC. If you take a look behind you, we have our own dye sublimation printer. The interesting thing about Lithionics battery is that we make over a hundred batteries. If you look at our competitors, they make say three or four, but we have a hundred. So we have to do our own label printing in house. You see our UL labels here, and then you see a final QC checklist for everything. And then uh, here's our uh, labeling, final labeling here. And then here's those combiner boxes. So uh, I can't tell you which RV maker this is for, but this is a three position combiner. So when you go to the RV dealer in June and they take an order, you can order a BMS in one module or two modules or three modules. A lot of people get a bit of a sticker shock with lithium, but once they get it, they love it because it just opens up a different horizon. You know that more than anybody um, for what you do with it and the travels that you do. And you have to be off grid in, say, a state park. And with the California regulations changing for uh, alternator use, that's going to mean that you're going to need more and more and more battery power. Uh, this is an amazingly brilliant idea that one of our engineers came, uh, came up with called the combiner box. And you can buy a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six position. So really there's an infinite number of power or energy combinations that you can go through. But if you come over with Matthew, he's going to show you how we load test and certify every battery. So if you come over here and look at the screen, we have, this particular battery has a four kilowatt load 
and this is a 51 volt battery, and you notice that the blue line is the temperature rise, and you see how efficient the internal Two. cell temperature stays. Four. It only rises from, say, 75 to 80, 88 degrees, so we're about 98% efficient. But now if you look at the green line, that battery under load starts at, say, 53 volts so at fresh charge. The highest it recorded was 56.8. Right. That was the highest. And then see this flat green line right here? Yeah, the flat green line is the voltage curve, but stop at the 10% never die point. 10% spot right here? So that, that battery is a 48 volt battery, but it's still above 90. Still above. I'm sorry, it's still above 48 volts. Mm -hmm. But just move slightly to the left. That's at 12% state of charge. Move to the left until, yep, now we're at 50 volts. But we've burned off 75% of the capacity of the battery. So if you hold higher volts, you use less amp hours. And people say, how can your battery have the same rating but last longer? It's very simple. Watts equals volts times amps. If we hold a bigger V, a bigger voltage, a higher voltage, you use less amp hours. What's the perfect example? Take our battery, put it in a pontoon boat at 51 volts. Take our competitor's battery. In this case, it could be Torquedo. And then our same size battery will propel that motor a longer distance over the lake because we're more efficient and we hold higher voltage. It's simple physics. So my name is Phil Silberhorn. I'm the marketing manager with Lithionics Battery. And I'll show you our burn-in stations where we balance the cells, make sure all the cells are burnt in so that there's balance among the each individual cells as we assemble them as a pack. So here we have the machines that charge the uh, cells individually so that we get proper balancing and after the balancing procedure is done then they'll apply the electronics which has cell balancers itself so that the cells will continually stay in balance. After they're properly balanced and then they put the cell balancers on then they'll do their final assembly as they go into the batteries themselves. So over this way we have our Never Die BMS assembly station. So they'll pull the parts from our uh, parts department and then our BMS assembly technicians will assemble the BMSs with the electronics, which is proprietary to uh, uh, the uh, circuit boards. We make the circuit, have design patented the circuit boards. And after they assemble the circuit boards, the contactors, then they'll put the appropriate connectors on. And that's what connects to the battery and talks to the circuit boards inside the battery so that you have cell communication between batteries and BMS. So this is our new facility where we have began producing larger numbers of our internal BMS batteries. So this is dedicated to building our CS200 internal B BMS battery systems. If they became so popular and we started shipping them out by the hundreds and thousands that they uh, started this new facility just on producing that particular battery. The battery is finished and assembled and ready to have the lid attached. Then this here closes the lid, it locks in place, and it's completely sealed at that point. After they're produced, that they're palletized and packaged. Mm -hmm. And then they go into our uh, uh, assembly line here, ready for shipping. So these are the uh, resistors that the batteries get discharged through and data load tested so that each battery before it goes out gets a complete discharge for analysis. Yes, now this would be one of the larger BMSs we make. This is at 102 volts. So the higher voltage ones are slightly larger, but we also make never die BMSs at 12, 24, 48, and 96 volts as well. You see this? I don't know who this guy is, but this is me. In any case, I want to thank Stephen, Phil, and, um, and Dan, of course, uh, for, for this tour of Lithionics Battery. Now, until the next one. Thank, thank you so, you so much, much for, for watching. And see you on the road. Thank you, guys. Take care. Thank you for coming. Riding in my RV Wherever I want to be And
Cause I'm free in my RV Yeah, I'm riding Riding, riding I'm riding in my RV My RV Wherever I want to be Cause I'm free in my RV 